Okay, Camilla is here now. Let's talk about our crazy weather. I know, it's, it's been, been weird. really weird. Muggy and yeah. warm today for most of us uh, in the same month where we had an ice storm. Right. So pretty crazy whiplash here. Uh, this is the view from our Rivermark Community Credit Union camera. Almost 50 degrees in the Rose City. Everything out there is uh, dry. We've got a mainly dry day today after a couple very light showers this morning. Uh, here's that 24 hour temperature change. So, Portland and areas in the gorge seeing slightly warmer temperatures compared to this time last night. That means things are very slowly warming up uh, through the gorge, but we still have that kind of persistent layer of cooler air impacting our temperatures throughout the day. So, uh, you can see that here. Today's high temps across the region, low 40s for Hood River and the Dalles. PDX hitting 51. I know that can be a little bit misleading because a lot of us across the Portland area did see uh, 60 degrees, including areas of southeast Portland and Gresham even. But it's just that thin little channel of east wind uh, can really make a difference. Look at these temperatures here. Salem and Eugene. Salem hit 66 today, breaking another daily record. Eugene hit 69 degrees. That's the warmest January uh, temperature ever recorded in Eugene. Uh, ties, I believe, 1931. That also occurred there. So uh, really warm stuff. Look at those coastal temperatures, low to mid 60s. Florence was at 66 today uh, and quite warm there for central Oregon as well. Here's a closer look at those Salem temperatures. So yesterday 63 was the high temperature. Like I mentioned, 66 today. Both of those broke daily records and still a chance tomorrow. 64 degrees is the forecast. Uh, that would break another uh, daily record from 1992. So pretty bizarre stuff for the end of January. Uh, here's how your uh, next few days are going to pan out when it comes to cloud cover and precipitation. We'll start nice and bright tomorrow west of the Cascades, at least for most of us. Maybe just some thin high clouds. We will see the cloud cover increasing throughout the afternoon tomorrow. Uh, we will be dry. Uh, we'll get a shower maybe late tomorrow night. This is paused here at 10 p.m. And then we're back to mainly dry conditions on Tuesday. We just don't have uh, any kind of impressive systems around. Just kind of a shower chance there, but you'll notice the uh, this uh, wetter system comes through late Tuesday, early Wednesday. So this is 1 a.m. Wednesday. That's when things will start to turn wet. But models have really backed off on those totals. At first, they were indicating, oh, it's going to be one of those steady, rainy days. Now this just kind of looks more showery to me, so not quite as wet as we were initially seeing. All right, here's the plan for the Portland metro area tomorrow. Again, nice and bright to start, some thin high clouds. Cloud cover increasing throughout the day and still very, very mild warm out there for late January. Temperatures topping out in the low 50s, at least at the airport. A lot of us are going to see 60s once again tomorrow. Here's that seven day forecast. Notice that temperature trend starting to cool gradually. Uh, there's that next wet system that arrives really Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. Few showers left over there Thursday and also Friday. And then we back down in the 40s, finally. More typical stuff here for uh, early February, but staying mainly dry. I don't see any impressive systems nearby, so maybe just a shower or two through the next weekend. Anna? All right, Camilla, thank you.